The Salem Witch Trials are one of the most notorious cases of mass hysteria that ever rocked Massachusetts. This fascinating episode is a cautionary tale in the history of the United States about the danger of religious extremism, isolationism and lapses in fair treatment in the normal judicial system. Many have theorized why that in four short months such a dramatic upheaval took place in a tiny isolated community. What is the failure of the crops and the fear of starvation? Were hallucinogenic fungi growing in the water? We may never know. The Salem Witch Trials by Marilyn K. Roach gives us a day-by-day -day account detailing the terror that flowed over the village. Read on to see out top picks in the books about one of most notorious trials of colonial America. The first product on our list is the Salem Witch Trials Marilyn K. Roach. This book is an in-depth chronicle of the day-to-day -day events that happened during the Salem Witch Trials. It begins with an introductory essay that familiarizes the reader with the social, economic and political setting the British Puritan colony in Massachusetts was experiencing. Reviewers liked the straightforward narration of the book. Many readers also appreciated how the book attempts to give context but does not veer off into speculation. As the Salem Witch Trials become quite complicated, this book also includes charts of each of the individuals that took part, as well as maps of the area. The book ends by referring to subsequent theories that attempt to explain the factors that resulted in the notorious witch trials. As this book covers the complex interaction between law, religion, politics and society, many readers felt it was a slow read. The book meticulously delves into each day of the trials, which lasted approximately a year. Therefore, this book is highly recommended for people who are looking for a scholarly work on the Salem Witch Trials. The second product in our list is A Storm of Witchcraft Emerson W. Baker. In this book, the author introduces the reader to the socio-political climate of the period when the Salem Witch Trials take place. The author deftly breaks down the various themes that were at play and the motivations of the people in power who proceeded with such dramatic accusations to their fatal conclusions. Readers enjoyed how the book doesn't limit itself by looking only at the accused but investigates the aspects that connected the small village to the greater upheavals that were taking place in the larger area geographically, politically, and socially. It also sheds light on the political agendas of people in power in the midst of the situation. The book examines the aftermath of the trials, and it is very detailed. Some reviewers felt that this made it quite an uphill read requiring a lot of time. However, this book is a must-read if you are looking for a scholarly piece of work that extends its scope beyond the village of Salem and examines the broader events that led to one of the strangest trials in American history. The next product is The Crucible Arthur Miller. The book is based on a play by the same author. The story draws parallels between McCarthyism and the witch trials, and how people in power prey on the fears and paranoia of the masses to garner support for their own political agenda. The book is a fictionalized account of Abigail Williams, one of the ringleaders of the girls who accused other villagers of being witches. Readers felt that the book had a forceful story where each complex character had their own motivations that drove the story forward to its unhappy end. On the other hand, some readers didn't like the way the story departed from the historical facts. While the author did take artistic liberties with the source material, it held a mirror to the Red Scare tactics employed in the 1950s in the United States to root out communists. This book is considered an incredible political commentary that connects two events of American history. The next product in our list is A Delusion of Satan Francis Hill. This book tells the story of how religion can be weaponized against its own adherents. The citizenry of Salem faced hardship exacerbated by continuous social policing. As long as the accusers pointed at the right folk, friendless women, or political rivals, the trials continued. The moment they pointed at the ruling class, the machine of which hunting ground to a halt overnight. Readers enjoyed the fast-paced retelling of the infamous events, finding it well-informed and well-written. The author provides the different factors that came before the trials, the inflexible environment of religion that surrounded them, and the men in power who facilitated and benefited from them. 
While the book was extremely detailed and well-researched, some readers found that it had some speculation in it. However, the book is considered to be a must-read for anyone who wants to know more about the Salem witch trials and the possible reasons that led to them. The next product is The Witch's Stacy Schiff. The author presents the paradox of Salem, how the small Massachusetts Bay Colony, which was one of the most educated communities before 1692, became a pit composed of the worst parts of human ignorance. Was the horror and hysteria that swept the village the result of childish sadism cunningly finessed by practiced politicians? Reviewers enjoyed the bleak portrait the author paints and her vivid descriptions that bring the environment and the characters to life. She tells how the ruling elite grapple to maintain control during a time of political transformation. The book creates a situation where the fancy of children is taken as hard evidence against their political opponents and the use of religion as a weapon. While the book is considered a brilliant narrative, some reviewers felt that it did not offer a fresh interpretation of the event. But the book is meticulously researched with incredible storytelling that fires the reader's imagination to wonder what really happened in the Salem Witch Trials. The next product is The Heretic's Daughter Kathleen Kent. This novel is written by an actual descendant of one of the women embroiled in the trials. The young protagonist Sarah leads the reader through Salem and the daily life of people who lived at the mercy of unforgiving elements, simmering with frustration and ready to place the blame of their misfortunes somewhere. The book is a slow boil. The calm of the tightly laced society unravels into pure madness as accusations start flying. Readers were impressed with the author's skillful prose which brought horror and panic onto the page. Reviewers felt that the imagery of the book is beautiful to read and the pain almost unbearable. Other readers found the first half of the book a little distracted. But as the story progresses, it becomes harrowing, as friends become enemies, family turns against family, and opportunists only gain from the madness. There is no escape for Sarah's family as she must accuse her own mother of witchcraft. The next product is in The Devil's Snare Mary Beth Norton. In this, the author, who is an award-winning historian, has systematically reviewed all previous scholarly work on the Salem witch trials and argues her own theory. She takes the lens away from the accusers and looks at the greater context of what was happening prior to 1692 in Massachusetts. Readers felt that the author brilliantly illustrates how the failed military attempts against the allied French and Native Americans and incompetence of the governing authority and intra-community suspicions led to a complete suspension of due process. As this book uses a large amount of information to present its theory, some readers found it a little difficult to get through. On the other hand, if you are looking for something that methodically goes through the trials and associated context, this book is highly recommended. The next product in our list is A Break with Charity Anne Rinaldi. In this book, the author combines the real-world events of the Salem witch trials with the ageless social conundrums young girls still face. The protagonist Susanna wants to be accepted by a group of popular girls that meet at the Reverend's house. The ringleader is Anne Putnam, the historical figure who began the infamous accusations. Susanna is placed in a dark place when Anne boasts of falsely accusing villagers of witchcraft. She must either break with charity, which means to tell on her friends or risk her own family being accused by ruthless Anne. Reviewers enjoyed this book, as though it is placed in history, the language is modern enough to make it an engaging read. While some readers did feel the book added too many historical details, others appreciated that it was well researched. The book does a good job of describing why the hangings happened but doesn't give lurid details of the happenings. This book is recommended for young readers who are interested in the history of Salem. The next product in our list is the Physic Book of Deliverance Dame Catherine Howe. The story follows Connie Goodwin, who must spend her summer preparing her deceased grandmother's old house in Salem for sale. Connie is understandably reluctant as the house has not been lived in for 20 years and is filled with trash. However, what she finds there launches a tale of superstition, greed and love. Reviewers like this book as a light summer read. It has a house full of secrets, romance, 
and hints of the supernatural as well as flashbacks into the Salem of 1692. Readers enjoyed how the book portrayed academic life and the mixture of history and fiction. The side characters were also fleshed out and helped the main protagonist on her journey of discovering her lineage. Some readers did feel that it should have focused equally on the past flashbacks as well as the modern part of the story. However, many readers felt that it honored the victims of the Salem witch trials while also being an entertaining read. It captures the emotions of both time periods and leads the reader through one coherent but enjoyable tale. The next product is How to Hang a Witch Adriana Mather. 15-year-old New Yorker Samantha Mather is plucked from everything she knows and dropped into the middle of the cold embrace of Salem, Massachusetts. She's directly descended from Cotton Mather, the infamous minister at the heart of the trials, and her lineage makes her the sworn enemy of the descendants, a clique of girls whose ancestors were hanged as witches. Readers found this a charming read filled with teenage drama. The lead Samantha is a typical rebellious teenager but with a strong sense of justice. Readers also enjoyed how the storyline progressed, becoming more and more intricate and elaborate as Samantha discovers a curse on herself and the town. Some reviewers felt that the writing was a little prosaic, but others found it funny and inspired. There is a typical teen love triangle and plenty of catty backbiting, and supernatural elements abound as Samantha tries to solve the mystery which will keep the tragic history of Salem from repeating itself. Do you think this list makes sense? Leave a comment for us. You can find the product link in the description of the video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the latest reviews.